Hi everyone, I need to make this video very, very quickly before I go and get my Novavax vaccine finally. Unfortunately, there has been a huge problem with the original place I signed up for. I can't reach them for the last three days. And unfortunately, this morning I find out another place, another location has finished their Novavax vaccine yesterday. So I missed it. They only have received one batch from Novavax and they do not have any more plans to receive another batch from Novavax, which is unbelievable to me. So I reached out to another place, which is also further away. It's a one hour ride via the public transportation. And, um, and I can just go there and get the vaccine without getting into a waiting list. I wish I've done that before. Uh, and without uh, wasting two months in order to get the vaccine. So I'm going to go there, but the issue is with the allergic reactions that I may have. And so I tried to reach my allergist and unfortunately I couldn't. I sent them messages. So, and I did the research in the meantime, uh, whether or not I should take antihistamine before I take the vaccine. And the recommendation is not to take any antihistamine uh, in case you have uh, asthmatic attacks or breathing issues or any other uh, allergy type reactions because it will mask the immune system, of course. And that was my thoughts too, because it wouldn't be really effective if I masked the immune system with my antihistamine and then uh, the, all the other normal reactions I would miss, it wouldn't be a good idea. So, but I still have concerns about afterwards, whether or not I will get an attack or I will get some breathing issues or any other issues that I causes by direct hypersensitivity that I had after the viral infection, which I believe was the pre-COVID, COVID in January, 2019. So, my plan is to rush to the uh, pharmacy and get some antihistamine. In my case, I only can take Claritin. I will get Claritin with me and some water. And now I will go ahead and get the train from MIT all the way down to Dorchester, Massachusetts. <laughs> it's, uh, I would say, about an hour that we'll be able to reach there. Um, they close at four. It's a tiny little health center, which is also good. It's not a pharmacy, so I hope everything will go well. Uh, wish me good luck, and I will update you, okay?